So the game I'm playing today is called Strike Force Bowling for the Nintendo GameCube. Now, why on earth am I playing a bowling game of all things? Well, to be honest, I wouldn't be playing this game had it not been for the fact that this is yet another game from my childhood. Although, just like the last two GameCube games I played, it's not a very good one. As a matter of fact, it's probably the worst GameCube game I've played so far, in my opinion at least. So, what exactly is Strike Force Bowling? Well, simply put, it's a bowling game, and it's not a very fun one. The game was originally released for the PlayStation 2 and Xbox back in 2004, and was later ported to the GameCube in 2005, because apparently there was demand for a GameCube port of this game. And according to some of the reviews I read, the GameCube port is apparently the worst port of the game. It has the lowest score on Metacritic, with a score of only 47. The Xbox version is the highest, with a score of 54, which is still not good, but definitely a lot better than GameCube. It's not that difficult to tell just from looking at the title screen that this is a shovelware game, and like most shovelware games, this game is, uh, pretty unpolished. Let's just keep it at that for now. But we are gonna play this game, and I'm gonna show you guys some of the features that this game has to offer. Now, one thing that I want to point out before I get started, if you look very closely at the title screen, you will notice a typo. At the bottom of the screen, where it has all of the copyright and trademark stuff, the line that reads, Strike Force Bowling, Crave Entertainment, and Related Logo are either trademarks or registered trademarks of Crave Entertainment in the United States and other countries. Well, the word United is spelled with an S. So it's more like Unites States. That's how you know this is a quality product, guys. When the title screen, one of the very first screens that you see when you start up the game, has a typo in plain sight. Yeah, there was a very clear lack of proofreading right here. So here's the main menu. Now as you can see, you have quite a few game modes in this game. You have open play, skins, tournament, challenge, golf mode, and practice. Oh yeah, and I also forgot, if you, if you keep the screen idle for too long, it just goes straight to a demo, and there you have a skeleton with, with, uh, buggy eyes right there. Um, yeah. So, if you stay on the title screen for too long, it just goes straight to a demo, regardless of, uh, whether or not you're actually trying to choose which game mode you want to play, which is weird, but... Yeah, so you have six different game modes here. Actually, just to, just to prevent it from happening again, I think I am going to pause the emulation. So, open play is the main game mode of Strike Force Bowling. It's just a game mode where you can just get right into a bowling match. Uh, skins is not a very interesting game mode, in my opinion. It's basically a game mode where, instead of trying to get the most amount of points, you're trying to get the most amount of money, I believe. Uh, tournament is self-explanatory, you're just participating in a tournament. Challenge is a little bit interesting, though, because the game presents you with all of these challenges in which the pins are arranged in different fashions, and the objective is to knock all of the pins down with just one shot, I believe. Golf mode is also interesting. You have 18 different holes, or basically 18 different arrangements of pins. And just like in golf, you have to try and get the least amount of points instead of the most. And practice mode is just a game mode where you can practice. I'm not going to be showing all of these game modes. The game modes that I'm probably going to show in this video are open play, challenge, and golf mode. Uh, just to show you guys the uh, main attraction of this game, and also show you guys the game modes that I personally think are pretty interesting. So first, we'll start with open play. So, as you can see, you have the bowler set up right here. Now, we don't have any bowlers right now, but we could either add a bowler, load a bowler, add a CPU bowler, or just go and play the game. If I just choose to go and play the game, I believe it assigns me a random bowler. Now, what is interesting is that you can just add CPU bowlers if you want. Like, you can have all of the bowlers be computer controlled and you can still play the game. So you can essentially watch a bowling match instead of play it. I don't know why you would ever want to do that because bowling's not exactly the most exciting sport to watch. Is it even considered a sport? I have no idea, but let's go and uh, add a bowler here. So, here's our uh, character lineup. We have our, our band of heroes right here. We have people like Diego, and Marianne, and Bambi, and John, and Sung Mi. Yeah, so basically, normal people who just like to play bowling. Yeah, v very, very creative indeed. And you do also have lock characters. We do have Bones right here, the skeleton that we saw in the, the demo before. 
In order to unlock him, we need to score a hole-in-one on hole 13 in golf mode, which we're not gonna do because I don't know why you would ever want to play this game for more than 10 minutes. And uh, I don't remember who this person is, and I believe this guy is a... Uh, yeah, this guy's a robot. I don't remember what his name is. So I guess for now we'll just go and uh, choose Diego right here. Uh, apparently he is from Spain. We can also put our name in here, uh, which we're we're not gonna do. Because there there is no point. There is no point to doing it, and we'll just we'll just go and save right here very quickly. Alrighty then. So now we can uh yeah, we can edit our bowler, we can also edit our stats, but I really don't care about doing any of that, so let's just go and play the game. Then we can select our stage. Now you do have a few stages here, you just have the regular bowling lane, but you also have these themed uh, bowling lanes as well. You have this one that's like pirate themed, that takes place on a pirate ship. Have this like island themed one, uh, Egyptian themed, uh, medieval castle themed, lunar themed, wild west themed, and I guess Japan themed, I believe. So you have some pretty zany lanes right here. And the one that I remember playing the most when I was younger was this lane right here, the lunar lane. So I think I will show this one off first. I would like to show you guys some of the more zany lanes in this game instead of just the regular old boring lane because... Or did I say boring lane? Well, I mean, that's pretty accurate still because it is pretty boring, but I meant to say normal bowling lane. So yeah, as you can see, uh, we're basically bowling on the moon right here. So I guess this takes place sometime in the future where humans have finally uh, colonized the moon. And now we're just... Yeah, we're just bowling on the, new, on the moon while... Uh, yeah, the Lunar Rover uh, drives by right here. So yeah, this is the game right here. So basically the controls is that you can move left and right to uh, aim your shot right here. This arrow also shows you where you'll uh, where you'll be throwing the ball. So if I just throw it like that, it'll go straight into the, uh, the center pin, I believe. Also, each lane has its own unique bowling ball. This one right here has a bowling ball that's modeled after the Earth, which I guess is interesting. And if you press the Y button, you can also change which uh, ball you want to select. So you don't need to actually use the Earth Ball right here. Yeah, it's also called World Destroyer right here, because I guess we're destroying the Earth by using it as a bowling ball. But you also have some different ones right here as well. You have Strike Master, Pharaoh's Magic, Double Dragon, Gunslinger, uh... Wait, there's two Strike Masters? What the heck? Okay. Um... Inferno, Light Slammer, Eliminator, Big Strike, Blue Monster, Lightning, Bone Crusher, Paradise Hammer, which is interesting because it looks like a coconut, and that's it actually. Okay. I don't know why there's two Strike Masters, that's really odd, but um, yeah, I believe this is just a regular bowling ball. So we'll just choose World Destroyer for now. Now all of the different balls do have uh, different amounts of weight, and they're also composed out of different materials. I don't know if that affects the ball in any way, though. I'm not I'm not sure if it even does, actually. Um, you can also configure the amount of spin on your ball. I believe if you press the uh, L and R buttons, you can configure the amount of spin that you put on the ball. You can change it from 10% to 100%. Again, I'm not really sure what that does, because I never really used that feature all that much when I was younger, because I didn't feel like it really had that much of an impact on the ball itself, so I'm probably not gonna mess around with that too much, but anyway, we press the A button, we can line up our shot right here, we can just aim it straight at the center pin, and uh, I do need to time this right here, time the power, time the accuracy, so that the ball will actually go straight towards uh, the center of the pin, and even though it didn't hit the center, it still got like nine pins, so I could easily get a spare, yeah, and, and this guy is just, is just upset, and also for some reason it shows me a replay, with multiple camera angles, because this is very exciting, it's very exciting watching a bunch of pins falling down, for goodness sakes. But yeah, if you never played bowling before, basically, you roll the ball towards the pins, and you have to try and knock down all ten of the pins, and... Wow, I just missed, are you serious? <laughs> yeah, but if you manage to knock down all ten of the pins at once, you get a strike. If you knock down all of the pins with two shots, you get a spare. And as you can see, you have like, uh, ten boxes right here, and once all of those boxes get filled, then, uh, well, that's it. That's the end of the game. Um, <laughs> I'm probably not describing it very well, but... Yeah, there's- there's not really a whole lot to say about- about bowling in general, so just roll the ball towards the pins and- and hope that you don't get a- a split like I just did, otherwise you're- you're pretty much screwed. Unless you can figure out a way to hit the uh, other pin 
like hit hit one of the pins on either side into uh, the other pin and try and knock it down and get a spare. So yeah, that's that's pretty much all there is to say about this game, guys. I mean, not a whole lot to say about it. Also, if you do get more power on your uh, on your throw, it does make it a lot harder to uh, time your accuracy because the meter moves a lot quicker. Also, I do feel like there is a little bit of input delay when you're actually trying to throw the ball. I don't feel like as soon as you press the A button, it immediately stops the meter. So, I, I feel like there is a little bit of input delay. But, um, yeah, guys, that's... <laughs> that's all I can really say about it. I mean, it's it's pretty, uh... Pretty simple gameplay, if I if I may be completely honest with you. Oh my god, how do I keep missing that, that one frigging pin? Come on here. I wasn't this bad at bowling when I was younger. Well, actually, I, I pretty much was, but... <laughs> oh my goodness, yeah, that's... That, that's pretty much the game, guys. I mean, that's that's all I can really say about it, and holy crap, I am doing a, a really bad job at this. Yeah, so this is this is the future of bowling right here, guys. We're, some Sometime in, like, maybe 50 years from now, once we colonize the Muin, we're just gonna be doing this. We're just gonna be playing bowling during our leisure time when we're, when we're not on... not on some sort of... some sort of mission, so... I guess this is what the astronauts will be doing by... by this... this time period. I'm not even sure. Um... There is also, like, a really glitchy texture in the top right-hand corner of the screen. I'm not really sure what that texture is exactly, because I don't remember even seeing that in the game before. Oh my god. This is a, a split three. That's, that's like, the, the worst kind of split right here. Fine, just go for the, go for the, the two pins over this way. And, yeah, also the camera angles are very weird as well, because as you saw right there, I couldn't even see what the heck I was doing. Not like it really matters anyway, because... All you need to be concerned about when you're throwing the ball is is the meter. Make sure you hit it in the, the green spot for maximum accuracy. And holy crap, I am just... This is really bad. Yeah, see? That that guy just fainted. He, he couldn't take it. He couldn't take the fact that he got like two splits in a row. So he just, he just passed out. He had a heart attack and died. <laughs> yeah. The characters do tend to overreact when, uh, when they get like a, a split or something. Or they don't manage to knock all the pins down. Like, they knock down all nine pins and just leave one standing. Yeah, the, uh... The characters in this game are extreme overreactors. And also, the characters are very uninspired, too, because it's literally just normal people playing bowling. I mean, you do have- you do have some diversity. Like some- like some, uh, you know, ethnic- ethnic diversity in- in the characters, at the very least, which is always welcome. But, I mean, the characters are not really that interesting. All the characters perform in the exact same way, pretty much. I mean, they don't have any... any... Like, they don't possess any sort of traits that are unique to them. And holy crap, that was like, uh... Yeah, that was the worst one so far. That one went right into the gutter. Um, but yeah, all of the characters in this game are pretty much the exact same character. They don't possess any unique traits at all. So, yeah, it's just... <laughs> just, just a very uninspired... And overall, just really boring game, I find. I'm not... And you know what the weird part is? It's kind of like Pokemon Channel, because this is a game that I actually enjoyed playing. Like, genuinely enjoyed playing when I was younger. Also, I got a, a bucket right there. I don't know what that means. But yeah, this is a game that I actually enjoyed playing when I was younger. And frankly, I don't know why. Because looking back at it now, the game is just boring. I mean, boring is not... I mean, bowling is not exactly, uh... Not, a, not the most exciting sport, in my opinion. You're just rolling a ball towards some pins. whoop de freaking do but... Yeah, I, I don't really know. I've, I've enjoyed a lot of really weird things when I was younger. And this game was one of them. Can I at least get a spare right here? Thank you very much. Holy jeez. I mean, I do like how the pins are uh, physics-based. I do, I do enjoy some physics in my games. Yeah, that, that was- that- that shot was not worthy of a replay there, honestly, game. It- it really wasn't. But yeah, I always- I always enjoy- enjoy physics-based nonsense in my- in my video games. Alright, well, that was, uh, that was complete crap. Autosave successful. So, uh, okay, why did it do that twice? So yeah, there's- there's my score right there. 83, and after it ends, that's just it. It doesn't, like, congratulate you or anything. It just shows you your score, and then it just kicks you out of the game. So, um... Yeah, 
that had no meaning whatsoever. So I guess next up we'll show challenge mode. I don't remember challenge mode all too well though. Like I don't even remember what most of the challenges were. But uh, we'll go and add another bowler here. I guess maybe this time I'll play as I'll play as John here. Yeah. So I well I mean they do have different amounts of strength, accuracy, and curve. But I mean other than that they're they're pretty much the same bowler. Aside from the fact that they do have different stats, so I mean, I guess they are unique in some way, but... I mean, the, the character designs are very uninspired and, and not very creative whatsoever, except for maybe, uh, maybe the skeleton and, and the robot that you can unlock, but... Yeah, let's let's just go here, and I, uh, I think I'll actually play on the, uh, the island this time, because I do remember playing this lane quite a bit, uh, as well, so... We'll go and play this one right here. There we go. There's, uh, a sunken ship right there. With a bunch of birds that I don't think are even are even flying anywhere. I think they're just remaining still. Yeah, I honestly think they are remaining still. Like, they're flapping their wings, they're not going anywhere. Yeah, so I don't really remember challenge mode all too well. Also, why is the sound cutting out for some reason? Yeah, and there's also a dolphin right there. Um, so this is uh, the first challenge right here. I just need to knock over one pin. Wow, the game's lagging quite a bit too as well. What the heck is going on here, for goodness sakes? Okay. I guess, I guess the game can't handle, uh, the emulation of water or something. Maybe there's too much crap going on on the screen that it can't handle it. And, wow. Alright, good. Very, very good indeed. I just, uh, completely missed that shot right there. So that, uh, that is very good. Please don't let me be here for, like, five hours. It's because I can never time the accuracy too well, because I always give it too much power. But, we got that. Got that out of the way. We've completed that challenge. Very good. Not too difficult. Not too difficult. I don't know what the heck this guy's waving at, because there's literally no one watching him. He's just playing bowling all by himself. Yeah, and also, another thing I forgot to mention is that the pins are different. In the lunar, uh, the lunar lay-in, the pins kind of look like rocket ships, and in this one, they look like, uh, they look like tiki heads, I think. Yeah, so, yeah, well, basically tiki heads. I was also going to say Easter Island heads, but... I mean, that's kind of what they remind me of, but that's that's clearly not what they are. There we go. Got that challenge out of the way. So, is it just going to keep adding pins all the time? So, do I just need to, like, get rid of all the pins? So, is the 10th challenge just going to be, like, trying to knock down all 10 pins at once? Is that what this is? I'm, I'm not even sure. If it is, then that's not really, uh, exciting, to be honest, but... Yeah, I think it just... Does it just keep adding pins every single time? Are we having four pins now, or is this is this slightly different? I can't tell. I mean, the fact that the game's running a lot slower does make it a little bit easier to time this. Okay, no, there's only three pins here. Okay. So, um... Yeah, this is, uh... <laughs> this is challenge mode, guys. This is the challenge mode right here, and... Wow, um... Yeah, not, uh, not very exciting challenges, if I may be, uh, completely honest. In fact, I might just end this game a little bit early, because this is just, uh... This is not really what I, what I expected, honestly. Not really what I, what I remembered. Probably because I never actually played this, uh, game mode all that much when I was younger. In fact, I'm not sure if I, if I ever even played this game mode back in the day. I'm not entirely sure, but I guess we complete, we can complete a little, a little bit more of the challenges. There we go. Or at least getting through them. Because I have no idea how many challenges there actually are. But we can at least try and complete a few of them. As many as we can before I get completely bored of this. There we go. That's another one down. There we go. You see he's fist pumping right there. Alright, now I need to to hit it the other way, I guess. Yeah. This this lag is is a little bit unbearable, honestly. I am, uh... Yeah, this, the emulator can't even handle this. I know for a fact it doesn't do this on uh, an actual GameCube. Probably just an emulation issue, but let's see if I can knock these pins down right here. Oh my god. Yeah, I think I need to I need to hit them from an angle so that it knocks all of the pins down right here. I think like right here might be good. I need to get like good accuracy. Okay, well that's not not the best accuracy, but maybe it'll be something. Never mind, it was nothing at all. And oh wait. Do I only have a limited number of attempts? Oh yeah, I do. Okay, well, in that case, screw this game mode, because I'm done. This is boring. And last but not least, we'll try out golf mode here before I end this video, because I'm just getting incredibly bored of this now. Um, I don't remember what other lane uh, I played here. I guess maybe just a regular lane, just to show you guys what the regular lane is like. 
Because, I mean, I have played the regular lane, too, but... Yeah, why why not? Let's just go with the, the boring, the boring, like, generic lane. Sure, why the heck not, with other people playing. Alright. But how about we change the ball? Let's let's go with something with something unique. How about we go with the, the bone crusher right here? Why the heck not? There we go. Have our own unique bowling ball right here. Instead of using the plain old boring one. So as you can see, we have a, uh, a par right here. And this is also the first hole. So all the pins, I believe, are arranged in a different, uh, in a different fashion. I don't know if I'm going to play all 18 holes. But I'll at least show off some of the, some of the holes. Why the heck not? And wow, are you serious? I can't even see which which pins I'm hitting, which is which is great as well. Good good camera angles. I know for a fact that the camera angles are not like this in like the actual GameCube version of the game. Like if I was playing this legitimately on the GameCube, then again emulation is not is not perfect, but still this is this is very slightly ridiculous. But I just, I only hit one. Pin. <laughs> well then again I do have free camera control, so I can move the camera anywhere I want pretty much. So. I have full control over the cameras when I'm playing on an emulator. Look, I can just make it not look at the pins at all. And okay, did I did I get a oh I got a bogey right there. Oh okay. So yeah, the text only appears on that on that portion of the screen. But yeah, I can just I can just move around. I can look at the other ones. Oh look at that guys. There's a ghost playing uh playing bowling over there. Yeah, so the ball is the ball is throwing itself. Check that out over there. That's pretty darn spooky. Anyway. <laughs> Yeah, so this is uh, hole number two right here, and yeah, they are arranged in a different fashion, so I am remembering this correctly. Oh god, that's gonna go right in the center. Ooh! Hole in one! Yeah! There we go. Finally managed to get a strike. I guess hitting it in the center was good. Oh my lord! Calm down, old man. Holy crap. <laughs> it just did like a backflip. I don't remember any of the characters doing that. Jeez! Calm down, for goodness sakes. Okay, I thought I thought maybe I could have gotten another one there. Actually, can I can I move it downwards? Yeah, I can kind of move it downwards so I can get a better a better view of the of the hole right there, or the pins I should say, not not the hole. What the heck am I talking about? Oh my god! Stop going right in the center, please. Hit these. Give it a little bit less power so I can time the accuracy a lot better. There we go. So yeah, basically in hole in one, I I believe you have pretty much uh infinite shots, so you can take as much time as you want to try and knock down all the pins. Unlike in regular, uh, regular, uh, bowling. Where the heck did that even go? Yeah, there it went. Went right in the gutter. It, like, flew out of there. Yeah, so, I don't know if I'm gonna play all of the holes, guys. This is the fourth one. I assume it is just like golf, where it goes all the way to hole 18, though. Um, I don't know if you guys would be, would be willing to watch that. I wouldn't be willing to play the game all the way up to that point, but maybe I'll, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll cut all the way to hole 18 if I do, if I do get bored of this. Save, save you guys the trouble. You don't, you don't need to suffer with me. Because that, that's not what I, I want to do. That's not what I want to do. Like, I don't, I don't want to make you guys suffer through these, uh, these terrible games along with me. I mean, you d deserve some mercy, at the very least. Oh, this looks like a hole in one. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Also, how the heck am I supposed to do this in, like, two shots? This is a part two hole. What in the world? How, how am I supposed to do this in, in two shots? I, I do not understand. No comparando, senor. Oh, there you go. Look at that trick shot right there. I still got a bogey, though, but... Alright. Yeah, that was not worthy of a replay. It really wasn't. Uh, I don't know what this configuration is. Also, I think some of the holes do have more than ten pins. I'm pretty sure. Oh my god, did I just leave, like, one? I left one! What the... <laughs> Well, I, I would still be getting a, a birdie from this. Come on, don't don't screw this up. Do not screw it up. There we go, you didn't screw it up. I got a birdie. Very good. Got a shot at redemption right here. What the heck is this split? What is this split right here? Oh, I don't get this. Oh, I don't get this. Wow. That bounce, though. <laughs> that bounce, for goodness sakes. I could probably still get a par, though. Yeah, because it's all physics-based, the, the pins just tend to bounce around all over the place when you hit them. And it can result in the pins like hitting the other ones from like a, a distance away what in the world is this i see a bunch of pins in 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 a cluster like right at the center holy geez okay yeah i'm not really sure how many of them i knocked down there you know i think it's pretty obvious that this game was meant to be probably probably more of a party game like a game that you play with your friends not really a game that you uh that you uh would play alone like just just single player 
I'm pretty sure this was meant to be more of a party game than anything else, but... I mean, let, let's be honest here. Would you want to play this game, or would you rather just go out to an actual bowling alley so you can play bowling with your friends? Like, would you want to play this pile of garbage, or would you like to play some actual bowling, for goodness sakes? I mean, if that's the if that's the kind of thing you're into. Like, what, what would you choose? What would you choose if you were faced with that situation? Play Strike Force Bowling, or go to an actual bowling alley and play some bowling with your friends? I think you would choose the latter, honestly, because this game is just... <laughs> it's just bad. It, it's just a bad game, okay? That's that's all I can really say about it. Check out this instant replay, boys. Oh my goodness, it's like the pins just exploded. <laughs> no, even even when I try to... Tr when I try... When I even pretend to be excited about this, it still doesn't sound like I'm excited at all. Damn, got two hole-in-ones in a row. How you doing, boys? Where are you at? And this guy's just worshipping the bowling pins now. <laughs> Oh my god, these characters. Right, so I decided to finish the rest of the bowling match here. I didn't bother showing the rest of it because it just really wasn't interesting. Nothing interesting happened at all. So, um... Yeah, I got a score of 5. It sucks, but I really don't care anymore, so let's just get out of here. Anyway, I'm gonna leave this video here. So that is Strike Force Bowling. Um, yeah, it, the game is not is not exciting. It's a really generic and just overall really boring bowling game. If you want to play bowling, just, I don't know, go go to your local bowling alley and just, just play bowling in real life or something instead of this, in this crappy game. I mean, I do like the fact that there are multiple different lands in this game that all have different themes and have different uh, bowling balls created for those specific lands. But I mean, they're all themes that we've seen before, like the pirate theme, the medieval castle theme, space theme, an island theme, the whatnot, so... Yeah, even even the lanes are very uh, generic, and again, this is a game that I actually enjoyed playing when I was younger. I honestly have no clue why. But then again, I was pretty young when I first played this, so I haven't, uh... I, I probably didn't develop taste yet. I, I didn't have any taste in video games at the time, so therefore I enjoyed pretty much any video game that uh, I play it. But looking back at it now, it's just a really uninspired and unpolished bowling game with very uninspired characters, not even that many characters either, and not that many lands, and no unlockables aside from the three unlockable characters in the game, and that's pretty much it. I'm pretty sure those are the only unlockables in the entire game, those three characters. So yeah, Strike Force Bowling, ladies and gentlemen. More like Strike Out Bowling. Yeah, I don't know where I was going with that. Anyway, I'm just gonna leave this video here before I before I kill everyone with my cringiness. Um, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video I make. Later!